Click the link in the description below to receive our free Building Mental Muscle newsletter, and for a limited time, get these 10 classic best-selling Law of Attraction books for free. We hope you enjoy this presentation. If so, please click the like button and click the subscribe button below to receive notification when we release new recordings. Richard Hargraves presents Seed Time and Harvest, A Mystical View of the Scriptures by Neville Goddard. First published 1956. This audio edition recorded 2023. Digitally narrated using the voice of Jeff Masters for BuildingMentalMuscle.com, copyright 2023 Iron Power Publishing. All rights reserved. Seed Time and Harvest, A Mystical View of the Scriptures by Neville Goddard. Chapter 9. A Mystical View. And with many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them, and when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. Mark chapter 4, verses 33 and 34. This collection of parables, which is called the Bible, is a revelation of truth expressed in symbolism to reveal the laws and purposes of the mind of man. As we become aware of deeper meanings in the parables than those which are usually assigned to them, we are apprehending them mystically. For example, let us take a mystical view of the advice given to the disciples in Matthew, chapter 10, verse 10. We read that as the disciples were ready to teach and practice the great laws of mind which had been revealed to them, they were told not to provide shoes for the journey. A disciple is one who disciplines his mind that he may consciously function and act on higher and higher levels of consciousness. The shoe was chosen as a symbol of vicarious atonement or the spirit of let me do it for you, because the shoe protects the wearer and shields him from impurities by taking them upon himself. The aim of the disciple is always to lead himself and others from the bondage of dependency into the liberty of the sons of God. Hence the advice, take no shoes. Accept no intermediary between yourself and God. Turn from all who would offer to do for you what you should do, and could, do far better yourself. Earth's crammed with heaven, and every common bush of fire with God, but only he who sees takes off his shoes. Elizabeth Barrett Browning Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40 Every time you exercise your imagination on behalf of another, be it good, bad, or indifferent, you have literally done that to Christ, for Christ is awakened human imagination. Through the wise and loving use of imagination, man clothes and feeds Christ, and through ignorant and fearful misuse of imagination, man disrobes and scourges Christ. Let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against your neighbor. Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 17, is sound but negative advice. A man may stop misusing his imagination on the advice of a friend, he may be negatively served by the experience of others and learn not to imagine, but that is not enough. Such lack of use of the creative power of imagination could never clothe and feed Christ. The purple robe of the Son of God is woven not by not imagining evil, but by imaging the good, by the active, voluntary, and loving use of imagination. Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8. King Solomon made himself a chariot of the wood of Lebanon. He made the pillars thereof of silver, the bottom thereof of gold, the covering of it of purple, the midst thereof being paved with love. Song of Solomon, chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. The first thing we notice is King Solomon made himself. That is what every man must eventually do, 
make himself a chariot of the wood of Lebanon. By chariot, the writer of this allegory means mind, in which stands the spirit of wisdom, Solomon, controlling the four functions of mind that he may build a world of love and truth. And Joseph made ready his chariot and went up to meet Israel his father. What tributaries follow him to Rome to grace in captive bonds his chariot wheels? If man does not make himself a chariot of the wood of Lebanon, then his will be like Queen Nabs, she is the fairy's midwife, her chariot is an empty hazelnut. The wood of Lebanon was the mystic symbol of incorruptibility. To a mystic, it is obvious what King Solomon made himself. Silver typified knowledge, gold symbolized wisdom, and purple clothed or covered the incorruptible mind with the red of love and the blue of truth. And they clothed him with purple. Mark, chapter 15, verse 17. Incarnate, incorruptible fourfold wisdom, clothed in purple, love and truth, the purpose of man's experience on earth. Love is the sage's stone, it takes gold from the clod, it turns not into aught, transforms me into God. Angelus Silesius End of chapter End of book If you enjoyed listening to this recording, please click the like button and click the subscribe button below to receive notification when we release new recordings. Click the link in the description below to receive our free Building Mental Muscle newsletter and for a limited time get these 10 classic best-selling Law of Attraction books for free.